How long does it take for Claritin to work? Claritin D had been a popular treatment for seasonal allergies since its introduction in the United States back in 1993. Claritin is part of a new category of antihistamines, which has a less sedative effect than antihistamines used previously to treat seasonal allergies. Claritin is a common choice for allergy treatment. However, Claritin was not approved for sale over the counter until November 2002. Annual allergies are a common condition in America. Millions of Americans suffer from seasonal allergies. Claritin is a quick and effective treatment for allergies. What does it do? Claritin is also known as Claritidine and is an antihistamine drug. It treats certain allergic reactions. Claritin, like other antihistamines, blocks natural substances called histamines that your body makes during an allergic reaction. Itching, sneezing, and other symptoms can be caused by histamines. Claritin, which is similar to anticholinergic in its binding to histamine receptors in the body, prevents the cells from releasing chemical messages that can cause sneezing and itching as well as increased mucus production. Claritin is used to treat what? Claritin is an antihistamine. However, it has not been approved to treat or prevent all allergic reactions. Claritin can be used to treat allergic rhinitis or hay fever symptoms. These symptoms include itching and runny nose, watery eyes, and sneezing. Claritin can also be used to relieve itching from hives. Claritin can't treat or prevent allergic reactions in all cases. Claritin has not been approved to prevent hives or treat or prevent severe allergic reactions, such as those that are caused by food or insect bites. Claritin can be used to treat allergic rhinitis symptoms that may occur either seasonally or year-round. What causes allergic rhinitis? Allergy rhinitis refers to a series of symptoms that affect the sinuses and nose. People with allergic rhinitis, also known as hay fever, develop hypersensitivity to an environment that causes no symptoms. This is known as an allergen. This is when the immune system attacks an otherwise harmless substance and causes an allergic attack. Your body releases inflammatory mediators such as histamines. These mediators then bind to other cells in your body. You will experience symptoms such as a runny nose and sneezing due to histamines binding to receptors. Hay fever is also known as allergic rhinitis. It can be caused by pollen from trees, flowers, grasses, or weeds. Indoor allergens such as pet hair, dander, dust mites, and mold can trigger allergic rhinitis. Allergy rhinitis can be experienced either throughout the year or only in certain seasons. Allergy rhinitis can be caused by allergies to pollen or airborne mold spores. Allergy rhinitis can be experienced all year. It is usually caused by allergies to pet hair, dust mites, or mold. You can also experience seasonal and perennial allergic rhinitis. Your symptoms may increase during peak seasons due to allergies to multiple allergens. How does Claritin work? Claritin, like other antihistamines, works by blocking the effects histamines have on the body. Claritin, which is similar to anticholinergic in binding to histamine receptors in the body, prevents cells from releasing chemical messages that can cause itching, sneezing, and increased mucus production. Regular use of Claritin can reduce the number of histamines in the body. What is the average time it takes for Claritin to work? If you are experiencing severe allergic reactions such as sneezing, watery eyes and a constant sneeze, it is important to seek immediate relief. Claritin usually works within 1 to 3 hours, and peak effectiveness takes 8 to 12 hours. Claritin usually lasts 24 hours for most patients. It is recommended that the medication be taken only once per day. Claritin is not as fast acting as Benadryl and will not relieve symptoms as quickly. However, Claritin does not cause drowsiness and can be used daily. Claritin can be used to control allergic rhinitis if taken every day during allergen exposure.